It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm about to try my first ever Guy Ritchie beer. It's an 8% stout that's just launched into Asda. I'm very excited for this to be honest because I was in Salisbury in Wiltshire just last summer. Now bearing in mind we're reviewing this and releasing this video, picked the beer up late April 2024 reviewing it very early May 2024 but the summer of 2023 I was down in a bottle shop they used to be called Cambridge Wines years ago in Salisbury and they used to sell a little beer selection it's still a bottle shop wine shop now but um, it, the beer selection is not as big as it was but anyway long story short I went in had a chat and the Guy behind the, back, the the counter said, oh, we got this kind of like Guy Ritchie beers. He, he owns a brewery down here somewhere, Wiltshire Way, and uh, we got his beers in to sell. But I didn't have, I just wanted to have a little, I poke my nose in and, and have a look at the beer. I didn't pick any up because um, I was traveling on public rail. I was on a rail a train and I didn't want to carry beer and I already had stuff in my bag. And you know, you know what it's like, traveling. Didn't have the room really to, to take it. So lo and behold, by by April 2024, this beer, Gritchy Brewing Company, G. Ritchie, very clever, have launched a beer into Asda, and it's Dolstelech Stout. So this is going to be some kind of milk stout. Lech is milk in French. So a milk stout, a, eight, a double milk stout maybe, an 8% ABV. But when I, it's funny, isn't it? When I looked at the beers in Asda, this one really kind of stood out to me. This was the one that I went, oh, that's a little bit different for a can of craft beer. That's very different. That's... Well, that's like looking at one of the windows at Salisbury Cathedral for a start, isn't it? Ah, there we are. So they're based in Ashgrove Farm, Ashbourne in Wiltshire. Without further ado then, 8% ABV, can, £3 a can, in Asda. Little bit of smoke on the can opening. I've been really impressed by the beers that launched into Asda late April 2024. A lot of them have been very, very good. Good, solid range of beer that's just released into Asda. And look at this. Yeah, look at this. This is... This is pretty decent, isn't it? Two finger tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass, small amounts of carbonation rising up the side of the glass. If you rock the glass back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Yeah, it's very a very, very well behaved beer. Good lacing, nice, tight, pillowy head. No light bleeding through that glass whatsoever. Let's get the aroma then on the beer. Oh, now then. This has got loads of coffee aroma, bitter, deep, dark, roasted coffee, a little bit of sweet caramel, a little bit of kind of maybe some cacao nibs, bitter, dark chocolate. You know that the chocolate bars you buy in the supermarket, they're high on the shelf. It's like the 95% cocoa chocolate. Yeah, this is this is this is wonderful in the aroma. It smells great. You get a little lick of a little lick of kind of that that milk as well, that that milk stout. 
Fully oaty and wheaty. Ho oh, ho, let's get in. Cheers, everybody. As a guess, I'm going to say straight away, they probably used lactose in this brew. Probably a lactose infused stout, but, 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 there's enough flavour here to carry the lactose. It's not like drinking slick engine oil. It's, there's more depth to it. There's more flavour, there's vanilla coming through, vanilla roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours. Pardon me, it's, oh, this is great stuff. That little, pardon my little burp there, but burping back some, some caramel and, and, and roasted malt. Hey, you know, we're all beer drinkers here. We, 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 all, we all have a bit of a burp every now and again. Mmm. Look at that beer as I rock it back and forth. As does range of beers as of April 2024. I think they've just leapt ahead. They've leapt ahead of Tesco, Morrison's, Sainsbury's. I've said this before. If you're going to a supermarket to buy some, some, some cheese, bread, biscuits, whatever, cereal, whatever you're going to the supermarket for, if you're a beer lover, all of a sudden you're going to start choosing Asda. Because, you know, we all love our cheese and we all love our biscuits and our Doritos and, 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 and our meats and everything else. But the decision making process is made easier when the beer is great. If the beer is great, lots of continental lager, lots of great craft beer in cans... You're going to go, right, I'll buy my milk, my bread, my cheese from Asda, and I'll buy my beer, my great beer from Asda as well. It makes sense to go to one place. And I think it, I think Asda have played a blinder, an absolute blinder here in, 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 in April 2024. And I keep referencing the date because you might be watching this in years to come. And, and, and Asda might have made brought out other ranges of beer since then, and they've been a bit you know but as of april 2024 i would say as there are the top supermarket craft beer vendor if you want if you're looking for decent supermarket craft beer and some cheese as are your place this is great no indication whatsoever of that 8% ABV. The beer is drinking really well. Almost like Belgian cafe, where you turn up at a Belgian cafe, you drink a 9% Chimay. You've never heard of Chimay. You're drinking a 9% Chimay like it's a 5% continental lager. You have two of them and you think, right, I need to go and use the bathroom now. You get up from your chair to use the bathroom, you're a bit squiffy, you're a bit woof, 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 woof. And then you look up at the menu on the board and you see Chimay 9% ABV and you go, ah, that's the reason why. It wasn't the, the, the oysters that I just ate <laughs> that's making me <laughs> a bit squiffy. Um, it, it, it's great stuff. This is, this, is, this is great beer, it really is. It's velvety, chocolatey, roasty... But, but all held together very well. I have complained in the past of lactose in beer. And that's because, on a personal level, what lactose does with beer is that it, it dumbs down the flavour. It dumbs down that roasted malt. It dumbs down that vanilla, that chocolate. But with this beer, I mean, I'm not... Read the side of the can yet. We'll get to that in a moment. They may have not used 
lactose, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure there's lactose in this beer, just by that slick mouthfeel. But they've used enough roasted malt, they've used enough of the other aspects, the other mechanics of the beer to make the beer, to overpower that kind of lactose. And that's made this beer great. If you're looking for a roasty, toasty, nice bitterness, but great mouthfeel, imperial stout, this is what it is. It's 8% ABV. Old money would say this is an imperial stout. If you're looking for a decent imperial stout in a supermarket, look no further. Look no further than this beer. It's blooming great. Gritchy, G. Ritchie or Gritchy Brewing Company, Dolstelech, um, stout, 8% ABV, um, made with real Dolstelech. Now, I, I just thought the Lech part was milk. I don't know what the Dolst means. Um, this stout has sweet caramel notes and a gentle burnt smokiness from late edition roasted malts, unfussy and easy drinking. Despite its 8% ABV. There we go. It's exactly what I've just said in all of this. Ah, there we go. So, I was right. Water, malted barley, oats, doltelec, lactose, hops, yeast. There we go. 440 millilitres. I don't know. Maybe maybe doltelec means lactose. Because if they, they put doltelec here on the side of the can. And, and then in brackets, lactose. So, maybe... I'm not very good with French. Maybe, maybe, maybe Dolph de Lec means lactose. Comment in the comments box. Have you bought this beer? If you bought this beer, do you have the same feelings that, that I do? That, hey, if I want an Imperial Stout, I'm going to Asda. This is good. This is really good. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.